So in this next step, uh, as you can see here, I have uh, renamed all the components uh, or all the objects and I have colored them, okay? That's something you can uh, do by your own, okay? Uh, now the idea is that uh, these uh, objects are meshes, okay? So they are, uh, they, or they include a complex geometry and they are not uh, ideal uh, or they are not suitable to use uh, in order to uh, generate a proper simulation. We need more simplistic geometries in order to do that. And this is called here in the software pure, geom pure, sh pure shapes, okay? And what we are going to do right now is to create pure shapes from the current uh, aspect of our robot. Not all of the, not all, all of the elements, but some of them, okay? Like, for instance, the base here, the front, this power bank, we can do the same thing for the foot, one foot, left and right foot, okay? And uh, here we have uh, the ankle, okay? So we can create also this thing here. And also we will generate another one for the rivets and also another one for the legs, okay? So I'm about to explain how to do that, okay? So let's start with the easiest one, for instance, that one here, which is the base of the robot. So we have to go um, on this option here we have on the left, which is called toggle shape edit mode and if we enter in this mode we have this shape represented with triangles and uh, we can select them just simply by clicking on shift and select the corresponding triangles in this case I have selected all of them you can see that clearly here and because of the geometry of this, sh of this shape I would like to extract a cuboid that more or less uh, assembles or reassembles the, um, the, the aspect of this uh, shape, okay? So I extract a cuboid and make sure that you have these two options selected, this is the default uh, uh, behavior, and you click OK. So as you can see, there's a shape here which is the cuboid that I have created, okay? So I can exit in this mode and I will see that, indeed, this is the cuboid I have selected, okay? Or I have created. I can rename this as a robot base, for instance. Yeah. And this is just a, a usual way to proceed is to put uh, the nice objects or the ge nice geometries in, a, in the first layers of the uh, the, the visibility layers and the pure and, uh, and joints, the pure ob shapes objects and, and joints to move them on the second uh, row of the visibility layers, okay? So uh, we need to access to the icon, common, common properties and set this object visible on the second row, okay? And you can see that it's not visible here anymore but the objects still exist if we invert the visibility layers, okay? So this is the object we have created, okay? Okay, so you have to do the same uh, with, the, as I said, with uh, fit. Uh, in this case, we have to do the same uh, with the ankle, a cuboid as well, so we can uh, generate cuboids here. This part here uh, will be indeed a cylinder, so let me explain how to do it. Uh, you can access to the component, uh, sorry, and then you can click on shift and select the triangles, for instance those ones, okay, it takes some time, sometimes it takes the time to select all the triangles, okay, so let's uh, hope it works. Here it is, uh, as you can see I have selected 2,129 triangles over a lot of more triangles and in this case I'm interested in generating only a cylinder of this part because it will act as a, in this case, as a blocking uh, component uh, for, the, for this, um, this rivet here. So I extract a cylinder, okay? And again, here it is. Let me close this and see if we have it. There it is. And here it is, the cylinder. And this is something uh, I can move again 
to the second row of the visibility layers and check that it's properly uh, done. Okay, here it is. Okay, so the aim here in this step is to create, uh, as I said, pure geometries from uh, main important um, uh, objects like the base, the front, the power bank in this case, the two feet, and uh, and also the ankles and the rivets, and as well as in this case the the leg of the robot. This part here is particularly uh, peculiar because if we create a cuboid from this uh, geometry, it will be a full cuboid with a lot of uh, material inside, and we don't want that. So what we need to do is indeed to create three separate cuboids. One for the front, one for the rear, and one for the top. Okay, that's something easy to do. We can create one if we go here. I recommend you to select only more or less up to this point, more or less. Okay, it's approximate. And generate a cuboid. Yeah, okay. Uh, we can select those ones. Uh, no. Uh, Here it is. Okay, we can extract another cuboid. And finally, we can extract another cuboid from these ones. Yeah, that's my recommendation. Uh, oh no, sorry. That is. Extract another cuboid. That's my recommendation. You will see that uh, these three cuboids here. Uh, let me show them in the other visibility layer. It's uh, more or less the same geometry as the original one. Uh, we can invert that. Here it is. Okay. This is more or less the uh, expected result that you, you, you need to get for these uh, components. They will be grouped later, so they will be as a single uh, object, but uh, in this case we need to create them uh, separately. Okay. So please complete these steps and uh, I'll explain you what to do in the next video. Thank you.